gently, please, please be careful. I'm going to go to the hospital with her in the ambulance. Okay, what about Brandon? Is he still at the house? He's there with Rosa. She should be told what happened. Well, I'm kind of worried about the press getting hold of him. I think somebody should be there to protect him. Would you see to it that the press doesn't get to anybody at the house until I get there? You want me to do you a favor, huh? Yes. Would you do that for me? Of course I will. And uh, don't let anyone ask Brandon any questions about his mother. I, I'll do that when I get home. Well, he's bound to ask about her. What do you want me to tell him? Just tell her that... Tell him that she had a, a minor accident. Minimize it. I don't want him to think that she, she that he may lose no, her. I know, I know. I don't want him frightened either. All right. Thank you. I, I appreciate you, Mr. Concern. Capo. But you, if you're coming, you better come in quick because she's losing blood and we're going to have to do a transfusion. All right, I'm coming. All right. I'll take care of everything in the house, Dad. How do you like that? She had to kill me, now she may die herself. Kind of poetic justice, don't you think? Judson, if I were you, I'd keep your mouth shut. You're on very shaky ground here. Don't worry, I'm not going to be around here to bother you. I'll head over to the hospital. You'd be a lot smarter to stay away from her. You think I'm going to let her get away with this? I'll tell you something, she'd be a lot better off if she doesn't make it. Because she made a big mistake here. She got me really mad.